eyes to the sky, guys, because today we're making drones. Now, you may have already seen a couple of drone videos by this time, of course we're going to be using slash camera for this, and it is a fair few number of commands as you can see here, but one of the really cool things, as you can see my drone right there, we're going to be using a bat, is I can simply hold out my controller, it'll take me to my drone's point of view, I can control the camera, look any way I want, and then I control my drone just by moving how you think you would. If I move forward, it just moves my drone forward. I'm gonna move backwards, it moves my drone backwards. I move to the side, boom. You can see my player is moving a little bit, but you'll also notice that I'm still staying on the same block. And I will explain how that works in a little bit. But, you guys can see this is actually how you control the drone. And if I want to go up, I jump. If I want to go down, I sneak. And so it's a really cool drone control system because it's pretty natural and it might look like a fair few number of commands but i promise you it's actually not that difficult but enough droning on let's get into the commands so to start off we just have some simple teleport commands that's going to keep our drone bat in place so this one is exactly what it looks like just hey if there's a bat named drone just teleport it to itself that way the bat's not flying around on its own now the second one is going to say for any bat named drone it rotate like it's going to teleport itself to the same place but it's going to copy the rotation of the nearest player holding netherite scrap and if you want to change what can, what item you're using for the controller for your drone uh just change netherite scrap to something else but basically this is going to make it so whenever i'm holding another right scrap and i can kind of show you here it's going to basically copy the rotation of myself the bat i mean so as i look to the left with my player the drone pans to the left as i look to the right the drone pans to the right. So I look down, drone looks down. I look up, drone looks up. Because basically the drone is going to be copying all the movements that I make. So the next set of commands we have are actual camera commands. And just a little reminder, uh, at the time of posting this, you do need it in your account settings. You need to go, I think, game. And right here, where did I pass? Right here. Experimental, right at the top of the screen. Experimental cameras. That needs to be turned on. Eventually, you won't need this anymore, but at the time that I'm recording this video, you do need that setting enabled. So, just a heads up with that. But anyways, let's get into the actual camera commands. We don't really have that many. All right, so the first one's gonna just, and by the way, this does look like a big command. It's not actually that difficult. All this is doing is looking for the nearest drone. It is copying the rotation of the drone, so the bat, and then telling the camera to basically have the same rotation of the bat in the position of the bat is what all this means and this might look like a lot just be sh careful when you're copying and make sure you try to type everything in correctly and then we have very pretty much same commands once again it's just setting the camera that's all it's doing and then we also have to clear the camera so basically it's going to say Anytime that I am not holding a netherite scrap, just clear the camera. That way it's not going to, like, as soon as you, you'll see here. As soon as I let go of the netherite scrap, I immediately snap back to my player. Boom. Lost immediately. That way you're no longer controlling the drone. Alright. So then for the next set of commands, what we're going to be doing is say, Hey, if there's a player that is holding netherite scrap, but there's no armor stand named control near them, summon an armor stand named control. Because the way that this actually works is anytime, uh, I'm gonna disable this invisibility real quick so you guys can see it a little bit better. Just watch around. Anytime that I actually hold my netherite scrap, you'll see here, it actually summons an armor stand on my location. So what's actually happening is, let's say I move to the left, what's gonna happen is it detects that I'm to the left of the armor stand and then teleports me back to the armor stand. So that way it's detecting my movement but also keeping me in one spot even with jumping. That's basically how that system works, in case you guys are curious. I think it was, yeah, I was flying, so I couldn't actually sneak. Yeah, there we go. So that's how the actual system works. And you can see the armor stand dies immediately upon me dropping the controller. So yeah, once again, this just summons the armor stand on top of you 
if you're holding the control item and uh, you're not, there's not already an armor stand there. And this command right here is basically saying for the control armor stand to copy the rotation of the player. One thing you'll notice is that as I turn left, the armor stand is actually turning left with me. It's a little bit difficult to see, but this is basically so I how, how I know what left and right of the armor stand actually is. Uh, we have this command here, which is just going to turn the armor stand invisible. We have this command here that's going to say, if you are not holding netherite scrap, it's going to just kill the control entity near you. That way, as soon as you switch off the, con the controller item, it's going to just get rid of the armor stand for you. This command is going to say, at the control item, unless there is a player holding the control item, just go ahead and kill yourself. All right. That pretty much is in charge of anything to do with the actual drone itself in terms of like actually how we get control, how we switch the camera and whatnot. The rest of the commands are just the movement. And one thing I might've forgotten to mention, all you need to do to make a drone is just have a bat and name a drone. That's all you need to do. Now we just need to make the drone actually move around. So it's pretty simple here what we're doing. We're going to, and I know this looks like a lot, it really isn't actually as difficult as it looks. Basically, what we're going to be checking is uh, if there's an armor stand named Control, and it's going to look directly in front of it, right? So if the player is in front of the armor stand, even by just a little bit, that's going to be telling the drone, hey, I'm moving forward, so the drone needs to start moving forward too. Then, this command is going to say, hey, if there is a player holding the netherite scrap right in front of this armor stand named Control, go ahead and teleport that player back to where the armor stand is. That way the player isn't actually moving around while they're controlling the drone. Finally, and we only do this for the forward commands, uh, we're just putting another camera command on top of this. This is going to make the movement while you're looking, while you're moving forward look a little smoother. Uh, the camera command I found to still be a little bit buggy, which is why I'm only doing it on the forward commands. So the rest of these are kind of similar to what the forward is. So for sideways, we're going to be saying uh, if there is a player, I think this is to the left. If there's a player to the left of the armor stand, go ahead and move the drone left. And then the next command, hey, if there's a player to the left of the armor stand, just move the player back, back to the armor stands. This is exactly the same command, but you'll see that the positives got switched for negatives. And once again, this hey, there's a player to the right, move the drone right. And this is, there's a player to the right, move the player back to the armor stand. Then we have, it should say backwards here, but oh well. This is going to be the same thing as the forward commands, except backwards. We're just literally changing this to a negative. Once again, this is, hey, if there's a player behind the armor stand, move the drone backwards. And then, if there's a player behind the armor stands, move the player back to the armor stands. The only ones that are slightly different is up and down. Up is actually pretty much the same, because we're just saying, if there's a player above the armor stand, because they jumped that high, then move the drone up. And then, if the player goes up, move the player back down. Going down is a little bit easier just because we're using sneaking and we can detect sneaking without actually moving the player. Uh, we don't need to teleport the player back so it's just going to be a sneak detect which I have a whole video on that if you guys are interested. This is basically going to detect if the player is sneaking, if so, go ahead and teleport the drone down. I understand that uh, some of the commands in here are kind of long and I do apologize for that, but just make sure you're, doing, you're being very careful when you're typing things through. And another reminder, because this comes up a lot, don't use these. These are parentheses. Use these. The braces. There's a difference. They're hard to see in the video, but it's very important that you don't use parentheses. But yeah, that's all you need to have a fully functioning remote control drone controlled by your movement. I've seen a couple of other people make drones, and one of the issues that I found with their videos is that they're kind of a pain to move. They have different items for moving in different directions. And one of the system, one of the reasons I like this system as much as I do, is it's very natural. You're just using how you would normally move to have this remote control drone that you can use to spy over people if you want. Like you can just fly over an enemy base and just be able to scout them out, like in complete safety. And you can see I can just fly all the way around this building if I want to. 
And look at this, I'm literally controlling a drone. I can't see this normally if I were just looking around. You can use this as like a spy drone. You can use this as all kinds of fun gadgets. So it's a really cool, fun uh, thing to mess around with. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. But I also, once again, am always going to rec recommend that you join our Discord. It's a really good place. There's a lot of people that are able to help you with questions, concerns, anything that you may have. But other than that, hope you guys enjoy. Bye.